At Sunshine Hospital in Melbourne's west, staff are preparing another daily delivery of the Pfizer vaccine. It needs to be kept in the deep freeze and then transferred to a fridge. We check the fridge twice a day, we check the freezer four times a day. Um, so the last time we checked was at um, 5 o'clock last night, so now we check again from 5 o'clock until now. And in this unremarkable paper bag is the world's most sought after medical breakthrough. After a few final checks, it's sent on its way to be injected into willing participants. Today, it'll be frontline workers at Melbourne Airport. Next step is to remove the bag. And we also have to check it's been tampered with, so it hasn't. This is our day five for us uh, for the commencement of the COVID vaccination program here at Melbourne Airport. Uh, we have to date vaccinated 686 uh, airport workers. A bag tested through evidence that would be correct. The COVID vaccine comes in vials of multiple doses and needs to be diluted and drawn out into individual syringes. It's a delicate step-by-step -step process which many in the healthcare sector may be unfamiliar with until now. Here in Australia, almost all our vaccines are single uh, dose vaccines and so it's very straightforward uh, to administer one vaccine to one patient. We haven't had a multi-dose vaccine in Australia now for something like 10 years uh, when we last faced a significant flu pandemic. We have to also now invert it 10 times again. One, two. The vaccine also needs to be injected within six hours after opening, otherwise it expires. That's one. Oh, and you can be a lot of things that can go wrong, increased risk of errors. For example, not diluting it beforehand, um, expiry time, uh, preparing it. So it's very important that we have that technique right, otherwise it wouldn't work.